we're gonna do is get into the boxing stance. So just stand waist width apart. You're an orthodox fighter. So we wanna take the right foot back, okay? Leave about half a foot in between. So obviously this distance there is half a foot. Now what we're going to do from here is turn the lead foot, the front foot, okay? Remembering that you're still waist width apart. We're gonna turn the lead foot and we're gonna face that in between 12 and one o'clock. So in between any, any place in between that particular boundary there. Now with the rear foot, what we're going to do, we're gonna twist the rear foot so that the heel aligns with the toe, okay? So you can see that there, heel, toe, okay? So front foot, toe, back foot, heel, okay? Now what we're doing from here is just getting comfortable in this particular position. And then we make sure that the back foot has um, an alignment between two o'clock and three o'clock, okay? So we're not fully at three and we're not at two, so we're just in between that. Okay, similarly to how we're in between 12 and one here, two and three here. Now we get comfortable again. Now we raise the back heel, okay? And then from that position, we just wanna bring the hips down slightly, okay? Shift more of the weight to the rear foot, okay? Now we bring the hips slightly over to the side, okay? So we're slightly more um, angled out to the side. Now the lead hand, we bring up here, and then we make sure that this is flat and then just aligns with the eye there. Then we want to bring the eye and hand down, okay? And then the rear hand here, torso touching on the rear elbow, okay? Just from the side there, okay? Now, obviously, we're palm facing to the right, okay? We gradually just close the fingers, not tight, but just with some space there. Now, the reason why we're here and not here is because the glove, this is how we would fit our hand in the glove, okay? And this gives us more of a relaxed position, okay? So the first thing that we want to do, obviously, is lower the chin, okay? Keep the chin tucked in, and then we're gonna practice the forward and forward movement and to the right. So here, so we extend with the lead foot, there, there, okay, from the side, there, 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 okay. Going backwards, obviously, is different from how we go forwards. When we go forwards, we extend with the lead foot. We don't commit to the movement. We don't just force, first of all, step. We extend and then we move, okay. There. When we go backwards, however, we move straight away. Ta, 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 ta. Okay. Forwards. Ta, 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 ta. Okay. Now that is our basic forwards and backwards movement. Now we're going to go off to the left and to the right. So here in our boxing stance again. Make sure you've got the correct alignment. When you move, try not to turn the hip. So there, there. Okay, going to the right. Okay, going to the left. Okay, so as you can see, when I'm moving to the left, right, I have a gradual amount of my weight that I take over at the same time, okay? Because the only time where you need to have caution is when you're moving forward. Moving backwards is fine because your opponent is not there, okay? Moving to the right or left is fine also, but moving forwards, is the issue. You have to assess first of all, if you can go, take the lead foot out, and then bring the weight with the back foot, okay? So here, there, there, okay? Take the weight with the back foot. Now pivoting, okay? 
obviously we've got two directions on the lead foot. So we bring the lead foot heel round and then we push with the back foot. So that would be the second thing we do. Okay, the third thing we do, we land in our stance. Ta, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, again, we check that the heel and toe are aligned. Okay, if you get into a position where you do this, one, two, three. Okay, just re establish your stance straight away. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now moving around this way into the anti clockwise direction. So we just raise the heel, we don't shift it out to the side, we raise the heel and then we push with the back foot. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so the drill that I want you to complete is movement forwards to the right, backwards to the left, then you pivot to the left okay then we do the same alignment configuration obviously when we were facing to the camera when i was facing the camera i moved forward so you have to move left then i moved right you have to move forward then here then here then you pivot again again along the same dimensions of the box Okay, pivot, there, 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 and then pivot until you get here. Now you pivot the other way, there, 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 okay, so that is the end of lesson one.